Welcome to the Explore Science Zone so in our science gallery at the Music. My name is Kevin, and today I'm going to show you how we can use solids, liquids, and gases to make your very own scuba diver. First, let's take a look at solids. They're all around us, just like my tea saucer. We don't think about it much, but if we were to look very closely at solids, we would see particles just like these, very close together very tightly packed and that don't move around very much. Liquids, on the other hand, like my tea, if we were to look at them very closely, we would see lots of molecules close together, but unlike solids, they can move around, sort of like waves rolling on top of each other. Lastly, gases can be a lot of fun. They're all around us, but we often don't think about them because we don't really feel them. If we were to look closely at gases, we would see that there are very few molecules in the same space and that they move around a lot and very easily. We can take advantage of the space between the molecules and gas to change its weight or its pressure. Here, for example, we can see there are very few molecules, but if I tilt the petri dish, almost the same as squeezing on a balloon. I put them all in one corner and we now have more weight or pressure and we can use that to make our diver. To build your own scuba diver, you'll just need some very simple materials. A two liter pop bottle with its lid, a pen cap, some plaster seam, and lots of water. It's very important to make sure that our diver floats properly. So get a tall glass of water and drop your diver into it. Our diver floats just right. You want him to float just at the surface of the water. If he's too far down or not floating straight up and down, add or remove plaster seam until you get it just right. Now we want to fill up our pop bottle all the way to the top. Make sure it's right at the brim because we don't want to leave any air inside our pop bottle. If it spills over the top a bit, that's okay. Now, you're going to put in your diver. And lastly, screw the cap onto your pop bottle. To make your diver sink, just push on the sides of your pop bottle. What happens is we're now squishing the air inside our pen cap, making it smaller and putting all that air in one corner like we saw in the petri dish. It becomes heavier and falls to the bottom. To get your diver back up to the top, just let go of the sides and he floats to the surface. 